look at my healthy and perfect stomach. It's like I imagined the whole thing. Did you see that perverted merman's face when I showed him the Kurif? He was like, flip, flip, flip. He showed me his stupidest expression because he was dumb enough to underestimate me, the idiot. <laughs> Your recovery brings unbridled joy to us all, yes. I'm glad your stomach's back to normal myself. At one point, I didn't know what would happen. Huh? I made myself pretty clear. It wasn't anything for a dog to get worried over. <sighs> yes, you're right. I forgot what type of person you are. Aww. But you couldn't even go potty without the doggy around. Like a flash of lightning, Vitalia grabs and squeezes Manny as tight as she can. Poor Manny's poor insides. Aren't you acting like a pretty big brat for a homeless fairy? Let, let me go! Hey, that's enough! If Manny didn't come and help, you'd still be struggling to appease Lord Peptobiz. Huh? Lord Peptobiz? There's no such thing, dumbass. Are you a little kid? But you were the one who... Ugh. Just recovered and you're already acting like this. So in the end, just what exactly is Lord Peptobis? Er, Utsushi? Who knows? But like the shaman said, it's an illness that only high-level witches can contract. And... Said he had never seen symptoms as severe as mine. So, ha! That's good, I guess. We'll try not to do anything bad from now on. Sorry to interrupt this lovely chat, but I'm gonna take off soon. Oh, you won't be staying? Master Mani is a swamp fairy. She travels to all different swamps. Swamp fairy? Not like a swamp better than mine exists in this world. That's true, actually. Still, it was fun to see Leah for the first time in a while. <laughs> Your habit of wandering off hasn't changed. But it's not like I care about it or anything. Still, you will feel a little bit less cheery around here without you. Shut up already, Monty. Hurry up and get out of here. Hey, no need to be so harsh. It's okay, Bisco. Well, I'm off. See you later. There she goes. You... Hmm? Huh? What is it? Huh? Nothing. I was talking to myself. I was muttering how I'd never stoop so low as to have a dog take care of me. What? Don't you see how much I've taken care of you so far? Shut up! You're harshing my butts. Come on, you just recovered from a serious illness. Try to calm down. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't bark orders at me, you cur! Please, deliver my message. Visco sends off a messenger bird from the edge of the swamp. Why, Master Visco, what brings you here? Huh? Oh! Uh, well... Just... Just doing some bird watching! <laughs> oh? I believe I see a bird flying at an incredible speed. A bird is flying at incredible speed. Huh? But that's not my... Uh, nothing. So damn noisy! Oh, another situation, I take it? What? Did a bird flit inside or something? <laughs> No, it's not a bird. This is a piece of magic parchment. 
So it's a letter? Probably a complaint or a challenge. Am I right? No. It's an invitation. <laughs> an invitation to the nighttime soiree in Walpurgis! Act 2, Chapter 4, The Witch in the Ancient Ravine. Behold! My invitation to the Walpurgis Nighttime Soiree! <laughs> you don't seem to grasp the gravity of this invitation. Very well. Allow me to lecture you on why this invitation is so very important, you ignorant, foolish fool. Only the best of the best witches are invited to the Walpurgis party. Which means this invitation is an official confirmation that I, the Swamp Witch, am truly top tier. Huh? Jeez, what now, Mutt? You wanna ogle it again? things. My name is Visco. Besides, I've seen the invitation several times. I get that you're happy, but you haven't shut up about it. H happy? Don't misunderstand. It was expected that they'd recognize my talents. Nothing to be happy about. Still, Surprising that a witch of your caliber got an invite to the Walpurgis party. Indeed. This is the very first time we have received such an invitation. Yes. This is probably why there was such a rush to expand our territory. But Master Leah's wishes have finally been granted thanks to this. Yes. Metallia, damn it! Stop making assumptions and saying whatever you want! Even if I didn't get invited, as long as the swamp spread far enough, I'd have invited myself to it! Oh, wait. Maybe they tried to send the invitation to me in the past, too. But the messenger inhaled too much of the swamp's noxious gas and dropped dead while trying to deliver it. Hmm. It's certainly a possibility. Maybe I should create a magic scroll that protects against the fumes. Honestly, I'm surprised that a mutt like you even knows about the sacred Walpurgis nighttime soiree. My mentor was one of Amatiya's court witches. I know full well how much of a reputation is needed to get an invite. Once a year, witches who live in solitude gather together and decide on, um... Which things to do, right? Yeah. The great witch Uruka established the gathering, so it's got a really long history. Hmm. Even you show respect for something like this, huh? Respect? <laughs> Who would bother respecting it? I'm just trying to take advantage of it. Take advantage? But how? What are you planning? Relax. I'm going to suggest something important and obvious that they've all forgotten about. Behold! My beautiful and amazing swamp! The swamp is the world! The world should be one giant swamp! Unless I make that suggestion. How could I attend the party and claim to be the Swamp Witch? And what's with that thing all the people have been worshipping? The Pillar of Temperance. It's clear to me now that those objects are meant to seal away the swamp mud that overflows with magic power. The Pillars are sealing the swamp? <laughs> they are. That's the biggest piece of evidence I have that implies the Swamp Witch is the most feared. That's why people in witches' vaults should worship me. Now do you get it, you stupid mutt? You should try to connect these dots on your own sometime. Uh, how? 
how selfish. My sincerest apologies, Master Visco. To become a great witch and spread her swamp worldwide is Master Leah's wish. Joining the nighttime soiree is a big step forward for her ambitions, so she is acting very haughty, uh, happy. I beg that you try and empathize with Master Leah's feelings. But then, instead of making that wild suggestion, can't you just use magic to spread the swamp? Yeah. You really do have the brain of a dog. If I could do that, it would be done by now. No matter how amazing my magic is, it's impossible to create a new swamp out of nothing and spread it. The existing swamp is sealed up in all those pillars. And only the Hundred Knight can release the swamp. That's why I couldn't leave until the Hundred Knight cleared a path for me. Do you get it now? So you... were unable to leave? That must have been a sad, lonely life. Huh? Sad? Lonely? Don't screw with me. I've got plenty of friends. Friends called knowledge. This is why books exist. Magic tomes, spell books, bestsellers, trashy tabloids. I studiously read everything our Lichino brings me. Her current tally is over three million books read. Her current pace is roughly 100 books per day. Even without stepping outside my swamp, I know plenty about the world. All through books? Maybe she really was longing to live in the outside world. Oh yeah, can't you just create more books using your magic? Jeez, I don't get it at all. If I use magic to create a book, without content it's just an empty shell. Do you think you can make a brilliant painting just by having a set of brushes? If you carry a music instrument, can you put on an unforgettable show? I bet you're the type to buy a diary and never write in it. Sh shut up! I'm sorry for saying something dumb. This invitation seems to list off some items you must bring to the party, Master Leah. Metallia. So, what do I need to bring with me? A lazy-tailed chicken. 13 whiskered cat and that which chimes during a full moon the bell plant three items in total yes it says to bring those items and to gather at the peak of mount asbrock beyond the tatara desert i have never heard of any of these they are truly rare articles when do we need to have them by the due date is when all the items have been gathered duh that's how witches do things. Not exactly. The invitation uses the witch calendar, citing the day of the Black Widow at dusk as the due date. Converting this into a more common date, that makes the deadline tomorrow. Yes. Huh? Tomorrow? <laughs> I'll find their rare items right away. It'll be a snap if I use my dowsing pendulum. We find them, and then we take them. We'll definitely find all three. In that case, allow me the honor of catching a lazy-tailed chicken. But if it is just myself and Sir Hundred Knight, I believe that time will get the better of us. Fine, I'll help too. Is there a problem, Metallia? Uh... Fine, whatever. I can't say this has nothing to do with the dog. Hmm... A party at night where famous witches gather together. Perhaps someone you know will be in attendance. Huh? What do you mean? Thicker than swamp soup. Is your canine nose just for show? The witch who cursed you might be at the party. What? It is possible that we may learn of a way to lift your curse, Master Visco. That's what I 
I was getting at. Tell ya. All right, Hundred Knight. Go and dominate more pillars as you look for the bell plant. I never imagined we would work as a team. It shall be my first time, so I may become anxious. Yes. <laughs> Things are getting fun. Now, I'll show you all my dowsing skills. Act 2, Chapter 5. The Witch and the Astrologist. No. Oh. That was a pretty hefty plot dump. Let's save. Though I guess I probably just saved, didn't I? Yeah, I did. What? What? Alright, whatever. That time code said no time has passed since the last save, which is super weird and confusing. I don't really get it. Alright, I don't even remember what we were doing last time. And that probably means that I'm actually uh, mid-episode here. Oh. I guess it gets to tell me what I'm doing next. Oh, right, I'm looking for the things. Visco leaves the house and catches up to the Hundred Knight. Hundred Knight, we figured out where you can find the bell plant. It's over by Te Tatara Desert. The pillar in that area is still intact, so she said to destroy it as you search. What a ruthless master. But this time, we have to have a letter that lists what we're looking for. So if you need to, you can ask the others. Item Momo acquired. Hey, hey, Hundred Knight. It sounds like my 13 whistered cat is in the Valentine domain. So let's do, both do our best, okay? What? Yeah, let, let's do our best. No. No, that's not it. I mean, did Natalia sound really envious about the outside world? It seems like going to this party has been a dream of hers for a long, long time. And if we might find the witch who cursed me at the party, so... So I have to try hard and... Yeah. I shall take make my way to Master Malia's forest now. The lazy-tailed chicken will be found with much laziness, er, with much haste. Yes. Yeah, let's all do our best. Fisco is so freaking adorable. I agree. I actually would not mind, like, a spin-off game where you play as Visco or something. But I'm sure there's plot reasons why that would never actually work. I don't know. It's a it's a shame the Witch and the Hundred Knight actually never really got a whole lot of uh, follow-up attention. I think it actually got pretty bad reviews, too. Like, comparatively, quite low. Lord of the Ring, Grand Warhammer. Great Warhammer f of Morgoth. Oh, it's that, like, really cool mace. I don't know why that's being listed in chat, but it's a freaking cool war Warhammer from the uh, Lord of the Rings universe. Yeah! This is one of the better Nipponichi stories. Like, the thing about Disgaea is it on... on ...painfully generic, and the story structure is a little bit broken up. Just because it... Let's see. Just because the story isn't played out in a very easy manner. Like, this one stops you in the middle of a level to do story stuff. That almost never happens in, uh, Disgaea. And also, this game uses incredibly atypical characters. I mean, we're taking silent protagonists to the max here to the point where the character's kind of an idiot. Which I love it. And Metalia makes, like, a really good secondary main character slash... Honestly, the real main character that we just don't play as. I don't know. Anyway, huh, I didn't think that a desert would look quite like this. Why is it called a desert anyway? There's nothing but sand here. Looks boring. The sound of a trumpeting horn can be heard in the far distance. Huh? Something happened? What? You don't know anything about the desert? Fine, I'll teach you, so you better listen up. It never rains here. It's a hot land made solely up of sand and rock. There's no swamp in sight. It's hot during the day and frigid at night. A world of death that hunts anything trying to stay alive. No average human can survive the trek across this place. Well, as long as your flame on your head is around, you don't need water or food. It'll be business as usual for you. Well, it is called the Witch and the Hundred Knight. No, this is true. I don't know. I, I just, 
I really like the storytelling mechanics. Oh shit, switching stances really messes up my um really messes up my uh Uh Hold the phone. How the hell am I supposed to kill this thing? Yeah, I guess it's I guess I have to kill this with, uh... I... Have to kill this with... Crushing. Okay, good. For a second I thought I was, like, really out of, uh, like, the wrong level here. But no, it's just... Honestly, a little bit low on damage. This is gonna be a rough, rough ride. We might actually want to consider going off and doing some grinding for a second. Okay, so let's find some good hammers here, seeing as. Okay, so any of these rank one? Yeah, there we go. Spiritual Hammer 4. Uh, Happiness Spear, Arrogant Spear, Betrayal Sword. Slash, Blunt, Magic. Can't do. Actually, let's try some of the lances, too. Blunt. Uh, ooh. That's a really good lance. Not this one. This one? Rock Baron's lance. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I just need a hammer build. Yep. Okay, do we have... Okay, we do have two of these at two. And then it's back to... Meaningless as usual. Well, this one's two. Close enough. Yeah, I don't want to do hammers that much, just because hammers are, um really slow. Makes them hard to use in, um, standard combat situations. Okay. Damn. This is rough. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to make one or two attempts out here. I'm not a big fan of the lances, honestly. They don't have cool combos or anything. I'm also a little bit disappointed that I can't use my swords on anything around here. Well, whatever. Oh, right. We are absolutely the wrong facet for this area. 100%. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't check my facets right now. Well, that sucks. Status? Can I check my... Will it tell me my attack? Oh, base attack. So yeah, what we probably want here is... What we probably want is Power Fortress. Unfortunately, this costs me a ton of, um... Oh, hi. I'm sorry? Wow. This guy is not a friend. So nothing is effective against him. He killed my prey. So I'm probably going to eat this guy just for the extra nonsense. Okay. So it looks like swords are the most effective against him. But yeah, we're so low on uh, G Cal. We, uh, I, wow, that's a lot of G Cal. That's also a lot of stomach blocks filled out. Yeah, that was a boss once. It's true, but the boss wasn't uh, nearly as defensible. Honestly. Hey, I found somebody I can actually use my swords on. Oh, they have bubble attacks. Do they have the same voice actor as Nahab? They might, actually. Oh, shit. He actually... Does... They do attack. With their... Bellies? Weird. 
I think I'm good to do some ex exploration here, honestly. Hey, where the hell did that guy go? He's gone. Okay. Well, we got a red wing sword. Luckily, a lot of the equipment I'm going to be running with here is going to be, uh... Like, this, the stuff I unlock to use is going to be, uh... Actually, the appropriate level, so we should be able to... We should be able to replace our equipment fairly quickly into this. I just want to find an edge. This map is garbage. I hear a pillar, though. That's always useful. Think I found our edge. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm not expecting to get through this area on the first try, honestly. But yeah, same as the boss, magic is ass. Actually, fun fact, he was completely unaffected by magic. So it made, uh, using magic against him kind of meaningless. What we might do is, um, kind of explore our way through this area, and then stop, and we'll go to the Tower of Illusion for a little while. Because it does feel like we are... Rather weak for this. Oh, did we get another facet? I should check to see if I got any more. Well, at least we have a easy exit that we can work with. So we can leave whenever we want. So I'm just gonna poison this guy. At least he's like comically easy to fight. And worth a ton. Unfortunately, I'm gonna end up with a silly amount of garbage blocks in my inventory. But whatever. Yeah, we're almost completely full on garbage already. Well, at least we could be here for a little while longer, which is kind of the main goal. So let's see if swords are any good against these guys. Actually, no. Actually, no. Fun fact. Despite the fact that we're running with the hardly effective situation, swords actually do more damage purely because uh, the attack speed is so much more useful than the extra effectiveness. Because, yeah, we can, just, we can just roll through them this way. Okay. This is not working out exactly the way I wanted it to. I was expecting this area would be, like, linear and whatnot, but nope. This is just throw you out in a field and call it a day. Yeah, so we'll... Maybe we could just beeline for the end, but I think I'm just going to explore here. I want to see if I can get my hands on some better equipment. At the very least, though, it seems like we're running kind of in a weird, lackluster loop. I'll see if I can lure all these guys together. Strength is a spear. A lot of AoE to work with. Much easier to clear these guys. In a mess, as opposed to one by one. Oh, this is going to take a while. And going back and fighting the fish people seems like the best time. Oh, can't do. Our inventory is already full. Okay. Well, the in if our inventory is already full, I'm going to take the nuclear option here. Fuck fighting anything. I'm gonna keep my ears out for another another pillar. I'm gonna uh, just run across that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go look for another pillar, and we'll leave and come back. We're, we've barely got a grade bonus here, and honestly, I want to go to the Tower of Illusion to try and get a level or two. All right. So we got something in there. Well, we got it. We got a pillar in there. We just gotta get there. 
Yeah, I don't feel like fighting a guardian, uh, guardian golem. I assume I've got to drop it thing down there. But I'm gonna just leave this alone. Yeah, we've got we've got too much. We've got too much uh, stomach stock full. So I might as well just get this pillar open. And then we can explore later. And I'll probably just advance past this situation. Okay, so let's return to world map. That'll clear out my stomach, and then I can just come back here really fast. Barely any experience. Alright, we should probably... Uh... Get rid of all that. Red wing sword. Holy crap! I got a bunch of magic swords. And better equipment, for sure. Okay. Um... So you know what? Let's let's go back to the swamp for a second. Let's see if I can go. Let's see if I can go to the Tower of Illusion. Because I honestly don't think we're going to be able to progress here properly. Problem is, we might not actually be able to queue up Illusion either, which is kind of unfortunate. But whatever. Okay. Uh, what the what? Oh, my pouch is full. Damn. Uh... How do we know their rank? I don't, but these look pretty useless. Oh. The inventory is still full. So yeah, let's sort by rank again. I have no idea how rank works. Oh. I didn't realize this, but I've got an insane amount of garbage with me. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, I should have expected that they would have uh, inventory limits here. So let's, uh, let's sell stuff. Because this is going to be a problem. Gonna get a repeated stress injury just from that. Okay. So we now actually have enough space for things. Now let's go sell things if I can figure out where I am. Because I've honestly got a little lost. Okay, there we go. I think there's other tents that open up here, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so what do we want to sell? Everything. So, uh, it's like we want to sell sorts. By attack. Ascending. So let's sell anything below 360. That seems like a good plan here. Most of these aren't going to be particularly good one way or another. Because if, the, if they're less than 360, they're probably bad. Okay, uh, so next one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the the exact same methodology with staffs and everything else, too. Chances are my, uh, setup won't be, like, reduced by this in any way, shape, or form. I can't believe that I haven't done this yet. Ever, really. I'm really bad at bothering with inventory management. I am very lazy when it comes to these things. And so, we end up in this situation. Whoopsie. Well, at least this will make picking items out a lot. Jesus Christ, I've actually got some really good, or at least expensive things in here. Oh, can't sell those. But this will make uh, picking out the good stuff a hell of a lot faster. I don't even know if any of these are good. This just makes sense. Okay, because the, the other alternative is actually, like, picking and choosing each piece of gear. And let's be honest here, nobody wants me to sit through and do all of that. That's just, that's just a nightmare and a half. Anything else? The answer is no. 
Okay, antidotes. Um, I'm a little bit leery about the consumable items, so let's not do that. We've also got a bunch of upgrade materials that I honestly don't know how to use. Okay, so let's total this all up. Make a good 10,000 shell. What's that put my inventory at? I have no idea. What can I buy from this place? Oh, they actually have slightly better equipment now. Good for them. I don't care. Okay, uh, so equip. Items. Let's see, items. How full is my bag? Still pretty damn full. That sucks. Oh well, I don't have much of a choice here. So, we've got swords. We've also got staves that- or magic swords, I think. This one. Which is weirdly enough a four. I kind of want to try it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at swords. Let's organize by attack. So we've got some uh, contender for two. So I've got three, four, five. Counted for. Three, four, five. So in that case, we need a one. As well. And, okay, so we've just got a bunch of bloody swords that I can switch in. There's one. Hey, we've also got, uh, scythes and stuff. I don't know about that one. Check the bucket list. That, too. Okay. Wow, they're almost exactly the same. But that one's rare. Do I have a legend? The answer is no. I do have an epic version of that, but I've got an improvement. Okay, so that's better swords, that's better that. Okay, yeah, let's go check the bucket list, see if I can, um... Okay, this song gets really annoying after a while. Luckily, for the most part, I don't have to listen to it. Let's, yeah, let's check the bucket list and see... What... What can we do? We have a cutscene we can stop at. Hey, hey, how's it going, Hundred Knight? Will you be able to find the bell plant? I need it for the Walpurgis party. You better find it before the deadline. <laughs> I wonder what outfit I should wear to the party. Maybe I'll make a special dress using magic. Huh? It says to come with my casual clothes, so I can just wear what I always do. I'm not doing anything special. Why would they say that? It sounds kind of bland. Huh? You're still here? Well, we have some time, but it's not like we should take it easy. Hurry back to Tatara Desert. Okay, uh, bucket list. Increase karma, reinforce weapon. Yeah, I got a ton of anima. So we could kind of do what we want. So the thing is, like, I've got fool's rocks and stuff, but I've totally got these, like, other... I've got... Oh, they're loot. Is loot just used for money? Really? I thought it was supposed... I thought you are supposed to be able to, like, upgrade stuff by sacrificing equipment. No? Really? Weird. Alright. Oh. Uh, let's upgrade every rare, epic, and legendary thing that we have, just because. Okay, let's stop with that one. Yeah, I got these, but they're not very good. It's costing a fair amount of mana. Yeah. Looks like I should mostly just stick to swords for the time being. I guess this is why Fool's Rocks are so rare. Okay, so we've got them at their maximum. So, yeah, stick to sword for the time being. Oh. That's why. Well, what else do we have? we got a pair of lances that are at epic, but I hate lances. Uh, Red Mole Staff. Okay, Racy Conqueror Sword, Baron's Lance, don't care that much. Uh, anything in the rare that I can switch out. Staff, Staff, Lance, Lance, bleh. Most of these are useless. We're never going to be using them, and we got a ton of common. How much is this game? I don't know how much the PS3 one is, but, um... The, uh... The PS... Oh, really? That knocks enemies away. <laughs> Or, in this case, uh, lantern people. 